ko tayari kitone hebu tuende kazi Asante sana kama mlivyofahamisha hapo awali ni kwamba ni Harambe Stars under 17 ukipenda Junior Starlet hivi sasa mheshimiwa rais anajulishwa kwao na kapteni wa timu hizi zetu mbili siku ya leo ikiwa umefika hapa katika ikulu ili kuweza kupewa rasmi bendera ya kuweza kutuwakilisha timu hizi mbili kumbuka kwamba siku ya leo zinapata baraka ya mheshimiwa rais ili kuweza kwenda katika mchuano kumbuka kwamba ni timu yetu ya kwanza tangu ulimwengu kuumbwa kutuwakilisha katika mchuano wa World Cup kwa hivyo tuna kila laheri kwa dada zetu hawa ambao ni Junior Starlet wanapopata baraka siku ya leo kutoka kwa mheshimiwa rais anafahamisha kwa timu yetu ya rangi nyeupe iko mkono wangu wa kulia naye kapteni anafuata kapteni wa timu ya kijani kibichi referee wetu akiwa pale ganga re kuhakikisha kwamba kila kitu ni salama timu hii kama nilivyofahamisha kwamba ni junior starlet ambao watakuwa wanachuana na under 17 wengine kutoka ulimwengu mzima kule katika Dominican Republic na kumbuka kwamba head coach wao ni dada yetu Mildred kapteni akiwa ni Elizabeth bila kusahau kwamba siku ya leo daktari wa Edith ananiambia kwamba wako imara kuhakikisha kwamba ni salama baada ya kusalimiwa na mheshimiwa rais ataanzisha sasa rasmi mechi hiyo na kisha atakapoenda uwanjani katikati anagusa kidogo na wao kwa dakika chache. Mheshimiwa Rais tayari sasa kuweza kuanzisha rasmi bimba hili. Na tushabikie timu zetu. dada Mildred Cheche Wanachukua nafasi zao Mheshimiwa Rais akichezea timu nyeupe Mheshimiwa Rais atachezea timu nyeupe kwa hivyo ni Mheshimiwa Rais anafahamishwa kwa coaches wetu dada Mildred Cheche Anapiga kule katikati chini ya uwanja kumtafuta jezi namba 21 kwa kekipa anaona hata kwenye lango Anapiga kule juu jezi nambari 11 katikati kumtoa jezi nambari 6 anampiga kanzu kapteni wa timu nyeupe alalala patia alalala eh eh kapteni William Ruto pale anaangalia pige wapi ala ha nje piga nzuri mari na kabisa alalala lakini jezi nambari kijani kibicha nasimamisha pale katikati uwanja nambari 24 kwake nambari 914 jezi anaangalia wapi hata ari kwenye lango Anaangalia piki wapi kapteni kipa nambari 12 Kanzu Maridadi ala ah. Anaangalia piki wapi huyu jezi nambari 12 kwa kipa Huyu kipa anaangalia wapi anapatia jezi nyeupe kwa kapteni mashaallah kapteni William Ruto ah amepatia jirani ala ah mashaallah ndio hiyo sasa anamtafuta kapteni kapteni Madi Dadi ah wake kapteni anasimamisha pale anaangalia pige wapi anapatia jezi nambari tisa ala aha nzuri maridadi kabisa ah mashallah hii timu nyeupe ni kama wamefanya mazoezi sana chini ya himaya za kapteni daktari mwenyewe William Ruto wanaangalia wapige wapi anachukua pale jezi nambari tisa mgongoni kijani kibichi Anapiga kule wingi ya kulia juu kwake katikati pale jezi nambari 16 kapteni anakataa anasema lala hapana shika twende ah Joan anapiga kanzu pale katikati uwanja alalala piga kule lakini goki pa jezi nambari 11 Diana Diana anaangalia piga wapi kwa jezi nambari 10 anampa Marion Marion anapiga pale kumpatia waziri Murkomen touch maridadi kanzu moja ala kwake Marion Diana tena Marion Marion kipa anatoka nje Scovia goalkeeper anamwambia waziri amna Brenda alalala Luna Luna kwa gara ah Caroline
kwake lili lile jezi nambari 8 anapiga moja kwa jezi nambari 3 akimbali kimbali anacheza pale na kipa Skovia anaangalia chapo wapi juu juu kule kwa Genevieve Anapiga kule kumtafuta Christine Jezi nambari 15 anarudisha nyuma kwake Velma Velma anamwachia kipa Ochaka Ochaka na ah Kanzu Maridadi Ochaka anacheza kwake Lorin Jezi nambari 19 Ochaka Lorin Ochaka Lorin anapatia Hindi Jezi nambari 8 Kanzu Maridadi Palm Jezi nambari 33 katika uwanja na kwa pale Valencia Jezi nambari 25 Green Touch moja nzuri Maridadi nzuri Rolina anampiga Kanzu kwake jezi nambari 13 Gvarari anapiga kanzu Maridadi jezi nambari 14 huyu mchezaji wa timu ya Odatu kijani kibichi Mario na anaangalia piga wapi lakini kwa mwingi unatoka nje reference to you who have qualified to be in the team I want to say to all of you even as you travel congratulations for achieving this feat what you are going to participate in is historic when history of Kenya around football and World Cup is written, your names will be inscribed in gold. <laughs> that the first ever Kenyan team in all uh, um, uh, different uh, disciplines of team sport, our Starlets became the first team to qualify for the World Cup. It has taken us 60 years to be able to get here. Many of you are 14 years, which means the journey for the search of going to the World, World Cup started before you were born. But today, you become part of that history by being the girls who finally made it to form the team that finally became the first Kenyan team, the trailblazers for Kenya to participate in the World Cup. Before you leave Kenya, you have already made history. We just want you to write the final chapter of that history by coming home with a cup. As you have asked very passionately, I want to extend that ask to the people of Kenya. Our team, the Starlets, have asked for our support. And let me say, we are not only going to give you our support, you will also go with our prayers that you succeed and that you do well and that you make Kenya proud. I will be following. I will be right behind you, player number 12. I will be right there to make sure that uh, as you participate, as you leave uh, uh, Kenya for Spain and finally to Dominican Republic, be assured of our support, be assured of our goodwill, our prayers, and uh, uh, continue to make us proud. As we make history with this team as a country, we must always remember that Kenya being the great sporting nation that it is, it is our collective responsibility as a people to continue to think about our country positively. I'm very happy with the collaboration that has been seen between the different actors especially the ministries of education and ministry of sports, that these girls will have the chance to make this historic journey to participate in the first World Cup without losing the opportunity to do their exams. That we are going to make sure that they will participate in the World Cup, but those of you who are doing exams will not lose your chance. You will have your chance to do your exams and like all other children in Kenya that will be doing their exams, you will not be left behind. As we go into the future, um, school games and what is happening in our primary schools, what's happening in our secondary schools, will form part of the ecosystem of building our sports.
athletics, our um, uh, ball games, and all the other uh, sporting events and sporting um, activities in the country. It is the reason why I made the policy decision that the sports fund will no longer be used to do all the other things that it was used to do. It will only be focused on sports so that we can have adequate resources to support sports right from the bottom, right from primary school. And partly, I must say, it must have contributed to this team, that there was resources available for us to support our secondary schools, our primary schools, our school games. And I see it across, even in the other arts, even the creative industry. And that is going to be the way into the future. In Paris, Kenya was country number one in Africa. And it speaks to the wealth of talent that we have as a country. I have often said that we may not have gold, silver, and, all, and oil, and all the other things, but our greatest asset as a country is our human capital. It is the reason I just came from, back from, from uh, Germany, because they also see Kenya as a source of qualified, competent talent that can be useful for working in their economy. So we have a resource that we must continuously develop. It is a resource that we must continuously um, um, uh, sharpen to take our country to the next level. It is also the reason why I am committed to spending more resources in our education, hiring more teachers, spending more money in our tibets, spending more money in our universities, spending more money in our uh, sports, because the Kenyan talent is the greatest asset that we have. And I'm so proud, I am so, so proud uh, that I am part of this history, sending you to the first ever World Cup, the young girls, uh, uh, the Australian team, Rambe Stars Australian team, you have all the goodwill from us, and I am confident that I am speaking for every Kenyan, and every Kenyan will be watching. If there is one thing that brings our nation alive and together and united, it is sports. And so this is a moment, again, as Kenyans, for us to close ranks and to support this team and to give them our best uh, goodwill, our best support, and to pray uh, for success of, of, of this team. We'll continuously look at the horizon of uh, building infrastructure around our sports. There is an elaborate program that uh, we are working on. The ministry is leading that process of making sure that we develop sports academies around Kenya. I know there is an elaborate program that will be rolled out that the ministry is running with. We are building necessary infrastructure. There is, at the moment, going on renovations in Nyayo Stadium, in Kasarani Stadium. We are building a brand new Talanta Stadium in Jamuhuri because we want to build the infrastructure that will support our sports. As you are all aware, we will be hosting Chan uh, early next year in February. We will be hosting AFCON in 2027 um, uh, together with our East African colleagues, Tanzania and Uganda. And that is a moment yet again when we can expose our talent and we can match up with the best in Africa and globally. I remember day before yesterday, or is it, yeah, day before yesterday, when I had a chat with the CAF president, he told me, Mr. President, Kenya has a chance to win in Chan and in Afcon. That's a very big challenge. 
I hope you guys are listening. So, Minister and your team, <laughs> you have some homework. And uh, I know you are up to the task with your team at uh, sports. And with these girls, I, I see that that possibility is inching closer. Uh, we, can, we can do this uh, together. You have my support, 100%. And all the officials that uh, will accompany this team, uh, please look after these girls. And uh, Kenya is, is waiting. We are uh, a great sporting nation, as, as I have said. And sports is one thing that brings our country uh, together. Asante Sana for uh, this feat. Um, bon voyage. My very best wishes. And uh, see you soon when you come back home. Uh, before you leave, uh, I don't know if you mind if I can share a cup of tea with you. Is that okay, Elizabeth? We can have a cup of tea together? Yes, Elizabeth has said yes. So we can, we can have a cup of tea together, and then uh, I can let you go and prepare for your journey. Congratulations to everybody, to all the other players I know. To put together a team like this, we need all manner of support. We need the media, we need uh, uh, people who cheer, we need those people who have vuvuzelas all over the place, and it makes the, the team what it is. So to all of you, uh, Asante Nisana for supporting uh, this great team. These girls who are here are actually history makers. They have broken, they've broken a, a barrier that has never been broken in Kenya since 1963 by being the first football team to ever qualify to any World Cup of any kind. And we want to tell them congratulations for doing so. This is a testimony that the future of football in Kenya is great. And I believe that uh, they are going to do a great job. Your Excellency, in Africa, we are only th three countries that have qualified. That is Zambia, Nigeria, and the great Kenya. Your Excellency, also, you know, these people are going to start in a group. Uh, the, 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 the teams are grouped into three groups, and they are in group C. They are going to meet the best the best of the best in the world. And we believe they will emerge the, 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 the best out of the group. They will play, they will play, they will play England, Ioni Ugali Sosa. Um, they will also be playing Mexico, and they will be playing uh, the Republic of Korea. And I believe that out of those three matches, they will emerge the top in their group and qualify to the next stage up to the finals. The thing about this experience is that, Your Excellency, no matter what happens, uh, in this exposure to these young people is going to open doors for a number of these players. And uh, watch this space. You will be seeing some of these young people here playing in uh, top leagues in Europe and other parts of the world. And I believe they will do so. And it's also a testimony of integration of education and sports. And I believe we will go far. In the process of qualification, Your Excellency, um, just before I say that, I, first of all, I want to say that this work has been made successful because of teamwork. And that teamwork was led by my predecessor, Honorable Babu Namwamba, in the ministry, and PS Toom, and the rest of the team members who are here, and they did a very good job. And uh, I want to congratulate everybody who participated. I want to also congratulate FKF for the work they did, uh, and their team, their president, and their members here for a job well done. Thank you, Your Excellency. This is, this is uh, part of your delivery bottom-up. Uh, these players were picked from the grassroots, and now they are here uh, going to the World Cup. In two years, for your serious support, particularly when you insisted that sports fund must support only sports activities, we gave about $300 million last year to schools to organize these games. And this is some of the products. Some of our boys also have gone out of the country. Going forward, Your Excellency, I have told my team that our primary place for getting athletes, uh, footballers, and other is schools. And I will be sitting down with my colleague, Honorable uh, Migos, to make sure that we have a clarity of policy of how education will intertwine 
with uh, sports so that we continue getting the best talent from grassroots from our schools. And that is going to be our very, even this coming year, we will continue putting more resources to schools to produce the best young people to move our country forward. Uh, Your Excellency, this team are our small sisters. We have supported them for the last two years. We are proud of them. And as the women leaders, we're actually proud that for once, the women are the ones who are going to take Kenya to the World Cup. It's a very, very break, great thing. And I'd also like to just extend my appreciation uh, to the Ministry of Sports and Education when we raised our statement in Parliament requesting that uh, the Ministry of Education allows them to do their exams after. They did accept that without any hesitation. So that's very good for the team. Nakwa madem wangu. Tulisema mukienda ni kufinish, kufinish, all the best and God bless you. Mina mshukuru mungu kwa kutupia hii opportunity. Enye ujakua raisi, since we started the journey of World Cup, tumepambana, mbaka tumifika World Cup. So, venye tunendo kuivo Dominican, we are going to give our best, we are going to work more harder, so that we can come with the trophy in our country. Uh, Mr. President, tunakushukuru sana for your support kwa kila mtu and the Ministry of Education pia tunawashukuru sana kwa kutupia your chance because we have some girls that they are in form force. Mmetupia your chance tuende to represent country yetu. After ku represent our country, they can come and do their exams. Yeah, Mr. President, Ngependa kwa idea kwamba tukienda huko hivyo we are going to give our very very best than before yeah na ningependa kuomba president venye tunaenda huko hivyo dominican we really need your support you have been giving us that support but bado tunahitaji your support and my players wenzangu I know we are going to put more effort so that we can make our country very proud. We know we are very happy. Jujakua Raisi, since I was born, Jai Kutana na president, but this is the first time. Alafu, Ningependa Kuomba, Mr. President. When you trend to Spain, go your trip when you met pay at least twenty to Fanyoko to Ki Camp, to Nakshkuru Sana, at least Nenda ku interact now as Zungu, a lafu to Kienda Dominican, so on a Jocin, we will see now in a open. Like in this year to Tambuik to Yote Kamayo, to Nenda ku keep, ku fight, now without forgetting God, to Namweka Mungumbele, and we know with God everything is possible. And like to pay your support as because we are the first Kenya women who peleka Kenya World Cup. And you are very, very proud because Sindhi Wale Watu Kwanza could make a very big history Kwai Kenya. Yeah.